Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Nice to see all your bright, smiling faces this morning. Um, you know, as somebody that speaks a fair amount, I always find it so much easier when everybody sets the stage, like with Shakina, with that absolutely gorgeous uh, video and song, and the music was just gorgeous, and, and Janet, and Dawn, and Alora and... Uh, Sorry if I'm missing somebody, but it's just nice to uh, how it creates a space to get into our hearts. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I've been uh, in South Haven lately uh, helping my mom out who's had some challenges. And a friend of mine who's very intuitive called me up last week and said, you know, I, I can feel your stress from the from a distance here and uh, and and you're getting overwhelmed and he said sometimes you just have to hit the reset button and I knew right away what he meant and I thought what a great title for the talk, uh, talk because it really there can be so much going on in our life but if we can just take a moment to just come back to what is and not be pulled into the drama of everything going on in life. It can be, be so much easier. And my mom's here right now in the living room basically because she can't get around too much so she's forced to listen to me. She likes to listen to me anyhow but if you hear any boos and sneers it's only mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. She would never do that. Um, but um, I will tell you honestly that uh, for both her and I, it's been very, very challenging because she's just not really able to get around much. I'm trying to help her get up as much as she can. Um, we know that she needs additional help and we're working on that right now. But as she was really literally just moaning in pain, even under pain medication, it was, um, it was just really difficult to watch. And I found myself really being pulled into her pain and I was feeling the stress and I was just not really sure what to do with it all, honestly. And so when my friend called me up to say, time to hit the reset button, it really was helpful for me to remember that and keep, me, keep that in my consciousness to say, you know, it's not, yes, to be present. To be present absolutely is the greatest thing that we can do. And what's also true is that to not allow myself to be pulled into the pain because it's great to be present and aware that it's going on. But what's also true is if we are being pulled into the stress and kind of the drama of life and experience the pain of life, I truly don't feel like I can serve her and support her at the level that I want to because now I become part of the stress I become part of this energy of fear and whatever else is going on and that's not how I want to contribute to her so it wasn't an easy process but quite honestly I, I'm really I'm really in such deep gratitude uh, she has been in such gratitude for me and we've had this Really, I feel this such beautiful connection as we do this dance of life that that we all experience at some point in time, and hopefully she's got you know many good days to come and many good years perhaps, but we we both know the fragility of life and that we're both grateful to be with each other. So I think for me, when I talk about uh, hitting the reset button, it really is about not being pulled into so many things um, that can drag us through the mud of life. And, you know, I, I really loved and appreciated when Dawn was reading John Cabot Zinn and um, just that, you know, and also Allura did the song Return to Love. And just being aware of our thoughts, and I will tell you this, and I've, I've heard Eckhart Tolle say this, Muji, Sadhguru, depending on who your teachers are, I've heard a lot of them say that, you know, when you're challenged, um, and let me preface that, I actually don't believe God or life actually challenge us. I believe they give us exactly what we need, and we feel challenged by that, because simply, 
we are wanting it to be different than what it is. And so we feel challenged by that. But the, the purpose of life to me is, is when life and God and the universe are giving what we need so that, and, and uh, Dawn kind of referenced this in her reading, we're given what we need to help us to become aware of what's gone askew in our life. And it actually, actually hasn't really necessarily gone askew. It's just that we've identified with a false belief. And if we are hooked into something that is not the truth, then we are going to be subject to um, so-called challenges or uh, uh, face adversity in different ways, not as a way of challenging us or not as a way of picking on us or any of that, but as a way of helping us to have that red flag pop up in our mind to say, something is not right here. Something is askew. And so I will tell you part of the beautiful thing about this whole thing of being with mom is, sorry, I feel like I'm looking up at the camera and I, um, part of this whole thing, beautiful thing about being with mom is that it's really helped me, it's really helped me to become very conscious and aware. And I've had several nights now and where, you know, I'm getting up with mom a lot, like I got up three times last night with her in the, in the night and I've been here for about a week and a half and at first what happened was um, I'm like, oh my God, I, I don't know how much I can take of this. And then I said to God, you know what? It's okay. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to flow with this and I'm not going to resist this. If I don't get any sleep, then Father, it's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. And once I surrendered into it, it just became this kind of this dance and this flow with this whole experience. Not to say I didn't have any stress, but it was a lot less than it was. So when I stopped fighting the experience of not sleeping, what was happening, I was getting up with mom, and then I would find myself waking up or not going back to sleep at all, and I would have this deep level of conscious awareness. And I was really just listening to my thoughts. I was just like, again, reflecting. Dawn's reading was absolutely perfect. I was just listening to these thoughts. You know, I'm really scared for mom. Can you just notice that thought, Brett? Can you just be aware of it? Oh, man, I really need to get some sleep. Can I just be aware of that thought? Boy, uh, I'm just really stressed right now. Can you notice that thought? Life is presenting exactly what we need, exactly when we need it at all times. And the challenge is simply because we, at some level, are not liking life the way it is. So when I'm being caught in those moments, I find that hitting the reset button is really just saying, oh, okay, it's taking a step back and say, oh, okay, I see that I'm stressed. I see that I'm afraid. Can I just come back to who I know I am? Can I come back to the present moment? I use the breath mindfulness meditation, same as uh, John Kabat-Zinn, uh, because it's an easy form of teaching. And also, it's something that we can carry with us throughout the day. And what I mean by that is, Mindfulness is typically how people, people teach it, is that when you, your mind strays in the meditation and you become aware that it's strayed, then you simply come back to observing and witnessing the breath. Now, what does that do? When you observe and you witness the breath, you are coming back to that place of just the beingness of who you are, meaning you don't need that breath to be any different than what it is. There's no trying or effort because the breath happens all by itself. You're just simply observing it. And that's bringing you back to the present moment. And so what's also true is it's actually bringing you back home to who you are. You are the one that is simply observing the thoughts, observing the breath, and observing life, observing the feelings, observing um, 
observing the experiences, the five senses, all of it. So when we talk about hitting the reset button, really what we're just saying is, can you fully come back to this present moment? And if you need just to come back to, you know, you hear people say, just breathe. It's beautiful because just to come you know, come back to the awareness that the breath is there and just to watch it, not need to change it or fix it or correct it or fight against it or struggle with it, like we do with our thoughts. If we could just do the same thing with our thoughts, just to notice them, to not make them bad or wrong or try to fix them, we can easily come back to just observing them and be at peace with any situation. I would also say hitting the reset button is about not resisting the moment. Not resisting the moment because as soon as you fight and struggle with the moment, immediately you will come back to dragging yourself through the mud of life. And I think for me, I'm finding more and more that life is really on my side. God is on my side. And I know that's true for everybody. I'm, you know, by the way, anything that I share, I never ask people to be just believe me. Um, I'm not trying to persuade you or convince you of anything that I'm sharing. I'm just inviting you to just take a look and see what it feels like to just fully come back to the moment where there's no resistance to life whatsoever. Because resistance to life is simply our attachments, our mind, our ego saying that I want life to be different than what it is. And the thing of it is, does the mind really know what we need? The mind thinks it knows what we need, right? The mind has all these ideas of what happiness is. But if we take a deeper look at the mind that is a culmination of just our thoughts and beliefs and our feelings that pop up, you know, feelings are really of the mind too, even though we experience them in different ways. If we have a thought and we believe that thought, then we have a feeling that follows that belief. So in the end, if we're not fighting the thought and fighting the mind, then we can really just experience anything and, and we can experience a peace within that. You know, I, I was saying that I feel like life is on my side and there's a certain beauty and freedom when we stop looking to our mind and our ego to find happiness for us, which it will never know because the mind judges this is good, this is bad, this is right, this is wrong. And so you can never ever experience the peace and truth of who you are because the mind always judges. That's just the truth of it. So if we can you know, let go of our attachments as to how we think life is supposed to look, it all gets so much easier. And then when we fully hit the reset button and we come back to the present moment, we can experience the flow of life. Uh, sometimes I do this meditation called the, the uh, river of life. And it's really about, you know, just allowing the river of life to carry you along gracefully, gently. And yes, sometimes you hit some turbulence along the way. But to me, the turbulence isn't actually there in the river. The river of life doesn't actually have the turbulence. The turbulence is all the thoughts and beliefs about how we think life should be different than what it is. Right? The turbulence that we experience in the river of life that's gently flowing along, if we float along with a river, the river will carry us along and... And, and we can trust that it's leading us to a place to awaken us to who we are. And that means letting go of our resistance. Don't worry about, if, to me, what I say is, God, 
if you need to bring some boulders in the river, if you need to bring some rapids, if in, for me personally, if you need to bring a waterfall in, then so be it. I trust that you have my back. I trust that you want and, and choose the best for me. And when I do that, man, there's just such peace and freedom about that that I don't have to try to figure out life, which, by the way, gets the mind very, very busy. Um, I, I think I want to end this. I think I want to finish this talk with, with a prayer. And so if you would, just close your eyes for a moment, please. Beloved, will you please help us to just empty out all those boulders, all those things that block us from just being part of the river of life, that when we choose and we hit the reset button, that we know and we understand and we feel what it feels like to fully return to the moment and to feel that peace that is here, not only in this moment, but every single moment. Help us to let go of our resistance to just be present so that we can experience the, the aliveness, the freedom, and the beauty of who we are right now in this moment and every moment. And so, beloved, we just give this over to you. We surrender all of our burdens, all of our worries, all of our cares over to you. And we put our trust and faith in you that you will show us the way home to return, to hit the reset button so that we may experience the beauty and the truth of who we are. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so good to be a part of uh, Interfaith again. Thank you.